All right, for all you Batman fans, Gotham Knights is a new story of Gotham that has arrived on the CW. In it, we are introduced to a new generation of foes and heroes with legendary DC comic character Harvey Dent at the center of it all. And with us now on ISF is Harvey himself, star of Gotham Knights, Misha Collins. Welcome to ISF. Hi there, how are you? I'm great, man. We loved you as Cass in Supernatural. Now you're headed to Gotham in Gotham's Knights. Uh, Misha, you're joining the ranks of some fantastic men who have taken on this role. Tommy Lee Jones, Aaron Eckhart, Billy D. Williams. And now you, man, this is legendary. How are you reimagining Two-Face? It is, it, it, when I found out what character I would be playing, I was like, oh, this is a little bit daunting. Tommy Lee Jones is one of my favorite actors. I've watched him in The Fugitive over and over again to try to emulate him. So um, they're big shoes to fill. But um, one of the uh, exciting opportunities about this role was that we are delving into the backstory in a way that hasn't been done before. So we're exploring, you know, we, 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 when we first meet Harvey Dent, he is totally buttoned up. He's got it all handled. He's the district attorney of Gotham. And in some respects, um, after Batman's death, which is how our show opens, Harvey Dent is really holding the city together. Um, but as the as the season um, un, unfurls, what we start to see is some cracks emerging in Harvey's psyche. We find out that he had a very traumatic childhood, um, that he has a family history of identity dysmorphia, which we know as split personality disorder. And he's got this alter ego that occasionally makes an appearance and he's trying to keep bottled up. And as as we get deeper into the season, Harvey is increasingly white knuckling it and trying to hold himself together at the same time he's trying to hold the city together. And eventually it's a battle that he loses. Um, his face is uh, is melted off and he um, he morphs into the character that we all know from the Batman universe as Two-Face. Um, so it was a long, slow arc. And I think that that's what um, differentiates this particular version of Harvey Dent from the ones that we've seen on the silver screen before. Preparing for this role though, getting in, getting into all the different stories, all the different chapters, the different layers of who, of who Two-Face is and where he exists in this universe, what was that like? Because I'm sure there's so many so many turns and twists that you can take and, and making this character come to life on screen. Sure, we've, we've had the movies, we've had the Christopher Nolan movies, we've had the mo all the movies that have shown a certain side, but as you said, this is a whole new face. Ha ha ha, kaboom, psh, that oh, we're giving. <laughs> good one. Well, you know, um, what, one of the yeah. things that's really cool about working in one of these known comic book universes is that there is so much canon, there's so much lore, there's so uh, much narrative that has come before. There are uh, countless comic books that have delved into the Two-Face story and the Harvey Dent story, and they all branch off in different directions. It's not one unified, cohesive whole that tells one story. It's lots of creative imaginings of possible different iterations. And so because there's this big body of work to draw on, when we're creating a new Batman world, we can cherry pick the best elements, the elements that fit into this particular world that we're constructing, which is a grittier, more real, darker, more grounded version of Gotham than I think we've seen before. And that, uh, so it was like we had all these resources to draw on, which was really cool. Wonderful. Misha Collins, congratulations on this show. As, as we said, we are excited here in Miami for Gotham Nights and all the best. Thank you.